So I'm just waking up and I think I am probably how far away from the house, baby? Mm, I think 30 minutes. No, I'm far away from the house at this point, like at least six hours from the house. Six hours. So I don't even know where we're going. I have no idea where we're headed to, but I'm excited. And my anxiety is a little bit up, but not too much. As long as I don't claim it, it might stay down. <laughs> I think I took the wrong exit or something. Turn left on Stevenson Avenue. We was headed to my mom's house, but I keep saying turn left and stuff. No, I'm keeping all the directions. We're going to see where we end up at. I have decided not to look at the GPS just to see and once I actually get to the room or if we're staying in a room, I have no idea. I'm so confused right now. I just don't even know. Just go, baby. Just go where you're going. At this point, so we're following somebody. I'll tune back in with you guys after a while. <laughs> Wow, a gas station in the middle of downtown? I've never seen this before. We're here, we just got to the hotel. We're staying at the residence, the, the residence inn by Marriott, I think. Um, but this is a really nice room. I'm gonna show y'all what it is. We have like a little kitchenette area over there. Carlos has his tennis shoes on the counter, as you can see. Um, little dinette area, living room area, office, TV. Then you have the bed around here, window that overlooks the city, sliding glass doors, and then you have the bathroom, shower. It's pretty cute. And this nice little spot I can take pictures. So we're in what, baby? Washington, D.C. Baby brought me to Washington, D.C. All right. Yo, cut off. We ended up in Washington, D.C. I don't know what we're doing here, but we're going to find our way, you heard me. But uh, that's um, pretty much what happened. I I told her I was going to take her to my mama's house, and I told her little field. Ended up wandering across. This is so pretty. Washington, D.C. My so eye. Nice. 
on the third one. Scooter, do got the scooters. I got my eye on the third one. Look We're like gonna this. get on the scooters again. I'm so excited. Look like that one got turbo. It costs thirty nine dollars a day for parking. That's a lot of money. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm just, I just don't see no point. Yes, I'm um, not trying to spend a whole bunch of money. I appreciate baby bringing me out here, but I'm going to cut it when it's time to cut it. Because I ain't asked for this. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> well, no, for real. I'm just more frugal now, you know? I kind of think twice before I spend money, so hmm. I'm not about to pay no 30 That's a bird. So stinking much. So me and baby are about to go get something to eat. I took a shower when I got here. Um, now we're about to go grab something to eat real quick. And I am starving, honey. I do want to get on the scooters again, but we are with people. I told baby we might have to leave them. I didn't know it was like a couple's thing. But you know how like nothing is ever really planned or set in stone. I'm not gonna be standing around all the whole time. That's not my energy, bye bye. But I'll tune back in with y'all soon. <laughs> I would love to stay in something like that if I was like a real true city goer. Their city bus is cute. I'm sorry, when I go places, I just pay attention to everything. <laughs> sweet so I'm back at it again with the lime bike yes I'm sorry the lime scooter and I'm about to ride with Carlos to go get food really quick I'm gonna put y'all in my bag talk to y'all soon see you tomorrow regardless hello sweet so i am sitting outside and we are about to smoke because we are in washington and it is legal to smoke marijuana marriage so yes i am and um it is awesome awesome and so now I'm about to go to the park I just rode the scooters over here it was really fun um, it's really pretty out here I'm really really excited my hair is a mess as you can see but yeah yes. it's beautiful here it really is like I came here when I was in um middle school and it was an experience then but it's really an experience now and i like it it's amazing it is amazing as an adult compared to what it was as a kid because it was nice as a kid to here for a whole week and i'm just here for like a couple days so. It's pretty dope. Believe it or not.
Sweets, and welcome back to another video. What's up? <laughs> you know, Germany. Y'all back. <laughs> we back. We back together, you know? I and always what, say that. What did we do yesterday? So we ended up doing a whole lot of nothing. Really just enjoying each other's time. Ended we went up. to a, dis a smoke dispenser. Yeah, we went in there. But it looked like a whole lot of games being played. <laughs> So okay, the prices, the prices, okay, I guess, you know, I'm not trying to be funny, but I've bought, you know, marijuana before, and it's not that high on the streets. I'm not trying to be funny. It's just not. So, coming down here and seeing how much the difference is, it's like, they are taxing, do you hear me? They are taxing. What kind of weed is this, man? <laughs> this shit better keep me high forever. No more I did this. get an edible. Um, and it was like a, a Rice Krispie snack. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I could barely open my eyes last night. Remember last night I took some footage and I could barely open my eyes. Mm -hmm. It was, it was crazy, but I mean, it was good. It did work. It worked for sure. What are we going to do today? Well, we're about to get up and go get some breakfast on the scooters. Because I um, signed up for a 24-hour pass with the scooters. And it was only, what, 12 bucks? 15. Oh, 15 bucks. Got about seven hours left for that. Seven hours. So we're going to go get on those for a little bit. And um, that's it. I can't wait to see how my hair turns out. I did like a little curly method. I'm probably gonna see another dispensary today. And then we're gonna go to the go-kart track. Another go-kart track. Y'all know who wants to go do that. <laughs> I think they have some kind of special or something. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just really going up there to see what I'm saying. I like a nice scenery and a nice view, so we're definitely gonna be go getting some scenes, some waterfronts. But I am, I am definitely tired from yesterday. I know I got a bruise on my ankle. I can feel it. While I was on the scooters yesterday, I kind of bust my ankle. Mm. It hurt so bad. She didn't do as bad as the other guy. Oh, my gosh. So we are here with another couple. Well, two other couples. And me and one of the guys were riding, like, further behind Carlos on the scooters. And I don't even know, it was like he was trying to stop, but he kept pressing the gas. And he came to a part where it was a corner. And you know, you got, you got street signs. Street signs are not going to move for you, bro. <laughs> it got to the street sign and, could, and he didn't stop. He just jumped off the scooter and twisted his whole entire body in the opposite direction, y'all. And scraped his shit up. Mm -mm. He took the skin off his knee and his elbow. Do all motion. Fuck him <laughs> up. <laughs> oh my god, I felt so bad for him. I ran back and tried to help him up. He was he was a tough. He's tough one, definitely. But he went. He ain't getting back on those scooters for a while. That fall, that was definitely the twister. You think he's gonna ride go cars today? He might, but I know he's gonna be sore. If I'm sore and all I did was ride the scooter, all of them are gonna be sore. You saw it from just walking. No, uh-uh. My back. It's my back and just my legs and stuff. Walking up the the same type of... No, this is the same type of sore I felt when we left Virginia. For real? Yeah. I wonder what I feel. 
I did talk to my sister Pink. So y'all know Pink is on vacation in Virginia. And um I was like cuz we we're in Washington DC right now while she's still in Virginia. And I was like I should come down there um after we leave from Washington. She's talking about come on. But we're not going to go down there and meet up with them. It's just too much. It's too much. We're going to let them have their family vacation, but that would have been nice to just intervene. I know y'all would have loved it. Cool, you got to get to work. We ain't got time to be interfering in on. Now, we would go down there and kick some spit with them, but. I just work so much, I can't afford to take any time off to do anything and we don't get vacation days you have to ask for time off nah you gotta just take it or That's take it every man for himself <laughs> <They vacation. laughs> about to get up and get dressed i guess i'll do a get ready with me for y'all while i'm on vacation may as well so let's go all right there y'all go see see how that works goodness grief I hope everybody is doing lovely. I'm doing lovely. I'm gonna show y'all how to take this down. I just did like some little knots at the bottom so it'll be curly when I pull it up because I'm wearing it up today. I'm not wearing this down again. Got my outfits together right here. I had to look at my stuff. I bring several different outfits. I don't just bring one or two outfits. I bring like five and six. <laughs> Five and six because I put my clothes on based on how I'm feeling, how it's looking outside and all of that. So first we gotta brush our grill, honey. Gotta get your grill right. With just hot water. And then I use my turmeric turmeric root natural lightning butter <clears throat> all you need is a dab and i put this on my face that's it what about this hair Okay, now I take my wax and we're gonna clean that up. Y'all hear him messing with me? I'm minding my damn business. He still ain't dressed. He still ain't dressed. Right about your damn self. You can't show him that. Still ain't dressed. Oh, what's that? Like I said, oh, like I said, that ran, that ran to put through I on some shorts. Doing nothing. You've been doing something. We gonna twist the hair out. Yeah, right out the socket. Right out of the Beirut. Yeah. Get in here now. Here, you want to put some of this on your face with that castor oil? Oh, no. That's how you get a winter clean, fresh hair. Yeah, y'all see me digging in that joint like that. That's how I do. Tell me different. I'm the best. The did it, the done it, the do it, you heard me? Tell me any different. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, you a lie. You know what I mean? Cause ain't nobody, nobody. You heard me, baby, look. I'm a day right now. Look, I got about 15 minutes. Look, I'm gonna tell you real, real quick. All right, so, it was two, it was two, two men, it was with me, and my brother, and my cousin Larry. It was, it was three men, all right? You know? We walking, walking through the woods. They had to be about late September, uh, uh, fall was just getting there. I think. And we were, we were 
surpassing the woods. And as we get, and as we got closer, we heard a noise. So that's how you know. I ain't gonna finish that story because it was a little scary. Yeah? Huh? Right. And what did you in there talking about? I told the people everything. <laughs> this time I'm walking around the room cleaning up. Just like this. Period. Yeah, don't even gotta clean it up. Period. What's complaining about me not cleaning up? Like, she wasn't gonna do the shit if I did it or not. Was or was. Yeah. No, are you ready? Y'all, yeah, you get yeah. on my nerves. Yeah, you know, on, you really get on my nerves. Walk out the door. Come on, let me show you how ready I am. Stay ready. Ain't never got to get ready, baby. Still. Stop playing about the wrong Still. thing. Still. We're waiting on Monday, bro. here so me and baby are walking to go get our scooters yeah go get us new. we still have our um 24 hour pass we got like seven oh, got the lift six hours there. left the lift bikes are way faster than i mean the lift scooters are way faster Let's than the spin scooters scooter and the lime scooters are faster than the spin scooters but the lift scooters are also faster than the lime scooters so yeah utilize their outdoor space they live right in the city they don't have a lot of space but they've used these lifted containers and a little bit of their sidewall to plant a garden it's just that simple you guys so find space find time and get it going there are our bikes or scooters all right talk to you guys later Something in your order gluten free. Something in your order gluten free. And you want the raspberry crumb? Yes, ma'am. Here is my gluten free vegan waffle with strawberries. It's got a chicken and waffle combination. With chicken patties <laughs> and waffle patties. Birds should know what time it is. They're waiting to get something to eat. I told them that if I don't finish all my waffle, I'll give them some. They begging like humans. This shit crazy. Just watch them fight over this. Survival of the fittest. Oh. That's the fittest. Survival of the fires. And look, they're waiting around. One more option. Y'all get one more. Survival of the fittest. <laughs> Oh, you gonna just keep jumping forward like somebody gonna look turn his head please that's it y'all done we just finished our waffles and mine was okay about to smoke a little bit and then hop back on these scooters and head out of here Like the biggest airport I've been to for DC. 
for Chicago. But DC, that's the airport. I flew to Japan, I flew to DC, straight to Japan. I just want y'all to know if you're from DC, I love DC. It's beautiful out here. Um, you definitely have a really nice city. I can see a lot of gentrification, which I know is probably not good for the people um, people that people are of lower income. They got patio furniture on their balcony. It's so big. Can. Go visit Carlos has family all over the world, so we're going to go visit some family that he has out here in Washington, D.C. Oh, this view, you guys have to catch it. sweets and welcome back to another video right now i am in the mall in maryland and i'm getting something to eat from a place called ella ray's cafe i'm getting a vegetable plate and it's like a soul food restaurant so i'm very excited well talk to y'all later you're going to experience like the incident if you want to try to go get some from all for the miscellaneous type owls and stuff like that yeah, you gotta you gotta call somebody to come because they got cages and all that shit <laughs> so you gotta constantly keep buzzing somebody to come unlock the cages for you to get one fucking
go back to that one? Yeah. Washington DC we came up for the weekend but let's talk about it let's talk about DC really quick um the gentrification wow 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 wow, wow, wow. I didn't know it was that bad they are pushing people out do you hear me and the cities are I mean that city type of developed lifestyle is going up i mean i know it's developed but it is like the condos the new apartment buildings the new loss what's hot is in and what's not is out and it's being taken down or redesigned for a specific type of people and you can clearly see it and I'm not from DC I'm actually from North Carolina so for me to come here and to see how how it's happening it's kind of like wow like you know yeah. it's, it's it, that is one thing that I really was kind of like beside myself when I rode through the cities the lesser developed parts of the cities and the very developed parts you can definitely see how it's stretching out it's slowly but surely stretching out see a lot of fences a lot of stuff under construction they are um the homeless community is very prevalent um as far as just trying to find somewhere to be they are everywhere on the streets but i today we went on a tour we went and met with one of carlos's cousins we went to a mall got a chance to try some vegan soul food which was really good i enjoyed it it was awesome I would definitely go back. I would definitely recommend you guys to go and check them out. I did, yeah. That food was so good, she couldn't even show y'all a picture of it. I know, I didn't show y'all a picture of it, but I did show y'all where I went. And it was so good. Like, the cabbage was on point. The collard greens was on point. Oh, my God. Now, I will say this. I did eat some potato salad, which is out of my... That is completely out of the lifestyle because I don't know what type of mayonnaise they use and I'm pretty sure it wasn't vegan mayonnaise. But when I tell y'all that potato salad hit like it came from another land, that potato salad hit. Do you hear me? I mean, it hit it. It hit it to the soul. That was soul food. Now, I will say this. The attitudes, ladies, 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 ladies. Listen okay that's ladies from down south we got some southern hospitality in us okay not we're, we're cool them. we're pretty laid-back women not all of them but I mean, okay for the most part, you know? now every single restaurant every single store I mean every um place I tried to order food it, it the attitudes listen I don't pay you I don't know who do but I didn't do it, okay? Quit didn't do it, okay? 
come and get me something to eat. And I want I'm them coming to get me some gas. I want them to pay you a million dollars, honestly. I'm, I'm oh, sad. I'm right. Sad. I'm, I hate that you're in that position, my sister. But listen, I'm coming in to make your day brighter. And this is what I hate about these type of situations. I don't know what made your day that way, but to just have to deal with that and I'm trying to give my dollar to you makes it a little bit hard for me to get that let that dollar go you know what I'm saying so please like I don't even know who this message is gonna reach but if you know you work in customer service and you're that woman that has an attitude please get yourself together and it doesn't come from any particular race I can't even say that because I had a nasty waitress to where we got up and walked out it was so bad we um went to a what was it baby some kind of bar pub or something it was like a but they had they were serving vegan food right the place that Today we went yesterday? The, yesterday with the lady no, the only place that we got up and walked out because i wouldn't have even went there it was like a mexican restaurant it's, i was gonna get that and we went in and she you know we know that the mask thing is mandatory or whatever but it was just the way she acted you know yeah. Her demeanor, she was just really nasty. Now everybody sitting down, either drinking or eating without a mask. Or just sitting there without a mask. So yeah. I asked, like, do you have to have the mask on while you're standing or you have to have it while you're sitting? You have Before to have you it. I asked that, she was like, just make sure you keep your mask on. Yeah, just make she sure you keep your mask on. Like, before we even got a chance to really sit and get ourselves together okay some of y'all really will get slapped with these damn masks i'm serious i will slap you with the mask because i don't have time so all that attitude that y'all be having about the mask if i have a mask on my face don't have an attitude number one because i'm one of those type of people that don't even care to wear the mask because i know the virus is really not as bad as they make it seem okay stop it the recovery rate is way too high for people to be out here acting still hit mass hysteria about wearing a damn mask okay the mask patrol people if i got a mask on my face leave me alone wow washington dc really does have one of the pyramid mounds that they were telling us about I mean, this, shit, this thing is huge do you hear this me this shit is big and it, it looked like a building but and it's right here in washington dc the district of columbia yeah, well, it's near it Mason, yeah. Easy pass. I did too. You wanna go by there real quick? Look at that shit. All of that. Wow. Yeah. We're in the car, we're on the way home, and we've discovered a mound right here. Okay, y'all look, here's the river. Thank you.